so now we are discussing the electrical potential so the electrical potential is simply defined as the work done per unit charge so we have calculated in the last lecture that potential v due to the point charge q at a distance r this is the distance r the electric potential is equal to 1 upon 4 pi epsilon naught q upon r this is the electrical potential at a point p this potential is a scalar quantity so therefore it has a no direction it has only magnitude so this is the electrical potential at a point p so now again we have discussed instead of a this single charge if we have a multiple charges like that q1 q2 q3 q4 up to qn so there are so many charges which are distributed in a space so yahan is charges ki wajah se hame kisi bhi point pe agar potential malum karna ho ke at a point p what is the electric potential due to this sum of all charges so we can calculate the potential due to the charge first potential due to the charge second potential due to the charge third potential due to the charge fourth and up to the potential due to the charge n so here so we say that this is at a distance r1 this is at a distance r2 this is at a distance r3 this is at a distance r4 so the total potential v can be written as the potential due to the charge q1 which is equal to v1 the second the potential due to the charge 2 which is called v2 the potential due to the charge 3 which we call it as a v3 up to the potential due to the all the charges up to the potential due to charge n so this is the sum of all the potential at any point due to the sum of all charges so here the potential is equal to this if it is one the v1 which is due to the charge 1 which is at a distance r1 if it is 2 so instead of a 1 we say that this is the potential due to the charge 2 and this is q2 and this is 2 so these are the potentials due to the charge 1 charge 2 and etc so as a result then we say that the potential is equal to 1 upon 4 pi epsilon naught which is the common factor in each potential this factor which is 1 upon 4 pi epsilon naught is the common factor which can be taken out from the equation so this is v1 is due to the charge q1 which is at a distance r1 this is v2 which is due to the charge q2 at a distance r2 this is V3, which is due to the charge Q3 at a distance R3. So, and so on up to this. This is due to the <coughs> QN at a distance Rn. So, here this V can be written as 1 upon 4 pi epsilon naught sum of all charges which varies from i is equal to varies from 1 to n because total number of charges is equal to n the potential is equal to qi over ri it means this i is the indices which varies from 1 to n if you want to write the potential due to the first charge you can write it as a q1 upon r1 if you write a potential due to charge q2 Q2 upon R2 and so on. So this is the how the potential, electrical potential is to be calculated. This is what we have done in the last lecture. <coughs> I have just repeated it to recall your memory. Now what we are doing, the electrical potential due to the dipole of the charges. So now we are discussing the electric potential due to the dipole charges. I wanted to remove it. So here,
so now we are discussing what is the electric dipole electric potential due to dipole so dipole is simply the two polarity charges which are separated by a small displacement here <coughs> let's say this is two charges plus charge and minus charge which are separated by a small displacement is known as a dipole so here this is the negative charge and this is the positive charge which are separated by a small displacement this displacement we call it as a d and this d is so small as compared to the size of the atom it means let's say it is a dipole of the nacl crystal <coughs> you know that na is positive cl is negative so the separation between na atom and cl atom is approximately in the dimensions of the atom which is approximately is equal to the angstrom few angstrom whatsoever the value is so this separation is very very small as compared to the atomic dimension size ke wo 10 raise power minus 10 bhi ho sakta hai 10 raise power minus 9 bhi ho sakta hai etc means within the dimensions of the atom so now we want to calculate the electric potential at any point p due to this dipole ab dipole is the two opposite polarity charges which are separated by a small displacement d <coughs> let's say this point p is situated at a distance r1 from the positive charge and at a distance r2 from the negative charge r2 from the negative charge so the average distance from the center is this r this is the r so now if we look into the path difference between r1 and r2 so if we draw a perpendicular from here so this is the path difference this if we compare this this is equal and this amount is the path difference between r1 and r2 so this path difference r2 is larger so path difference is r2 minus r1 if we look here this is the angle theta if we say that this is the angle theta <coughs> so this angle theta is we call it as a d cos of angle theta is equal to r2 minus r1 because this is the horizontal component this is the horizontal component this gives you the triangle this component is the d sin theta which is d into the component uh, perpendicular to the angle is the sin component and the component which is parallel to the angle is the cos component so this d cos theta is equal to r2 minus r1 so now again <coughs> if we look here d cos theta is equal to r2 minus r1 we have to calculate the potential at a point p this charge is the charge q this charge is the charge q this is positive charge this is negative charge so what is the potential at a point p we say that the potential at a point p is equal to the potential due to the positive charge plus potential due to the negative charge and the potential due to the positive charge is equal to 1 upon 4 pi epsilon naught q upon r and this r is actually r1 and potential due to the negative charge is equal to the plus 1 upon 4 pi epsilon naught q upon r2 
so one upon four pi epsilon naught is common. This is negative charge, so therefore this is minus. So therefore it is one upon four pi epsilon naught. This is Q is common, which can be taken out. So this is one upon R one minus one upon R two. So this can be written as Q upon four pi epsilon naught. R one R two. So this is R two minus R one. So this is R two minus R one. This is Q upon four pi epsilon naught. This R two minus R one is equal to d cos of angle theta upon R one into R two. So this is the potential at a point P due to the positive and negative charges. So here we have seen that okay, R one into R two is approximately equal to R, which is equal to R square. And R two minus R one is equal to d cos of angle theta. So therefore, this V is equal to one upon four pi epsilon naught d cos of angle theta upon R square. Because R one and R two is approximately equal to R, and which is the product gives you R square. So now we have to look the, this. So this can be written as I am rewriting over there. This can be written as V is equal to one upon four pi epsilon naught. This is Q. This is Q d cos theta. Q d cos theta upon R square. This is Q. B cos theta upon R square one upon four pi epsilon naught अपने equation से बाहर निकाल तो यहाँ से अगर आप ये देखें कि this V is equal to one upon four pi epsilon naught this Q into D is equal to Q dot D अगर Q और D के दरमियान angle zero है तो ये one हो जाता है तो this is called P, which is the dipole dot unit vector, P dot R upon R square. So here, the unit vector whose magnitude is one. So as a general, this can be written as here, the V is equal to one upon four pi epsilon naught P upon R square. So this is the potential due to the dipole, and P is known as an electrical dipole, which is the product of the charge and the separation between the charges. Electrical dipole P is the product of the charge, any charge multiplied by the separation, and this P is known as electric dipole. This is called electric dipole. So this part we have done. So now here, if we look here, okay, the electrical dipole is equal to P dot R. So here P dot D. P dot R over R square. यहाँ पे this can be written as P Vector dot R vector divided by R Q divided by R Q. So the unit vector for our other vector divided by magnitude. So the vector unit vector R is equal to vector divided by the magnitude. So unit vector को मैंने multiply कर दिया. So as a result, you have the other equation. So this indicates that the electrical potential varies with one over R Q. <coughs> R अगर आप खत्म कर लें तो it varies with one over R square. 
so this is the electric potential due to the dipole this is one of the application of the electrical potential ab dusri jo equation hai us pe aate hain hum 